everybody, Papa Gord here again, and let's get back into doing some reviews. So if you happen to catch me on Uncle Mike's live stream on Saturday, and I also live streamed again for almost a couple hours on Sunday, I was talking about, or if you follow me on Instagram, which I will start posting that more regularly, You'll see, I do believe I put up a couple of pictures because I found two more figures to finish off the, I'd like to say the most current wave, but people are starting to find uh, the Cad Bane and the Armorer and the three Jedi figures and the Incinerator Trooper and the Phase 1 Clone Trooper, so I guess that's kind of the most current wave, so I, whatever. So we're going to take a quick look at... Oh yeah, this feels really weird now, not having the... Here, we're gonna take a quick look at Admiral Akbar from the Return of the Jedi, hence the uh, the green color, because this is gonna be Return of the Jedi. He's number one. He's number one. And yeah, so again, it's the new packaging, and I, I, I don't mind the packaging, just that... It's really great if you're an inbox guy, but again, we all know I'm not an inbox guy. So this does make it a little bit more of a pain for uh, packing the boxes away because I do keep the boxes. But yeah, Admiral Akbar. We've had one from, I believe, what, The Last Jedi, which was cool. It was, hey, we got an Admiral Akbar, or a... Uh, Whatever he's listed as then, a Grand Admiral, I don't know, but Akbar, uh, which he's right here, and he's all in his green, and he's looking a little bit more, uh, I don't know, like a reddish brown color. So he came in uh, the two pack with the, just that generic um, uh, first order officer. So yeah. So there we go. Okay, if that's fresh in your mind, and we'll we'll get into Admiral Akbar during the Battle of Endor. Uh, veteran Commander Admiral Akbar oversaw the rebel attack, coordinating with starfighter operations led by Lando Calrissian and Wedge uh, and Wedge Antilles. So, so there you go, in case you didn't know what he did. So we'll put that to the side, and uh, and here he is, Admiral Akbar. So this will be younger Akbar to older Akbar. So I guess they, because he's got, he's a lot more brown, and uh, he has a lot of spots on him where... Yeah, there's like no spots. And a little bit of shading around like the eyes a little bit. Maybe some liver spots going on on the back of his head a little bit as well. But it's it's pretty well the exact same figure. Uh, let's see. Well, the head anyway. Let's just go with just the head and the forearms. Other than that, it, I'm just comparing side by side with the sleeves. Yeah, no, because they put in a butter, there's a butterfly joint in here. He can actually get his, no, oh, he's really close as well. So, yeah, it's different, it's different for, or, yeah, the, for, uh, the upper arms. But, he looked really, really good. This soft uh, plasticky rubber overlay is it's it's interesting I I, I get that um, Admiral Akbar really doesn't do a whole lot besides go it's a trap which that was probably a lousy Akbar but um, yeah this thing is is a little weird uh, on him at least here he's rocking his old man um, kind of long shirt you know it looks like he's got it hiked up really high going to have dinner at like two o'clock in the afternoon yeah, I'm sure so 
he is again the head has this little bit of a, a gimmick <laughs> so he's he does open his mouth so like Bosk and the Gamorian guard um, so there's just kind of like a cutout at the bottom because that's all the movement you get on this head there is no there's no side to side just like the original one there's no side to side also so no tilt no he can't turn so he's got a he's like 89 batman or he's got to turn his whole body just to see what's going on to the left and to the right but uh yeah just looking side by side there yeah but again like I said, he's got a butterfly joint up in here, which is a little difficult to see because of his, this overlay piece. Again, I like the detail with the darker spotting on his arms here. I think it looks really, really good. He's got his rank insignia going on and his, uh, his belt. It does look like you could probably right here uh pick the glue i think it's glued a little bit but you could probably give that a go and then this whole overlay piece would probably come right off he, he is rocking this this wicked i didn't realize that he's got an awesome pinstripe going on all the way down uh from under his armpit to his ankle and that's pretty rad uh, it does have the new single jointed knee, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Yeah, you're not going to get like there. You got that kind of a bend to that. But honestly, I don't, again, I don't think he left. I don't think he left the chair, his hover chair in, in the the bits that he was actually in so he doesn't really need to be able to kick himself in his mid back so that's that's fine like you're not going to get him in and, and that's the older figure as well so i'm i'm more than okay because it, it does look you know it does look cleaner down here instead of looking like all these guys have like knee pads that are the same color as his pants but uh, yeah, and then you get a swivel just above uh, the, the knee. You basically get no ankle pivot at all. You get a little, okay, it goes one spot forward on the left foot. And a little bit on the right foot. So that's, that's, that's it. You better hope he stands quite well which he does he, you can't see that but he stands quite well so you don't need to use one of those dorito stands or uh, some aftermarket stands for him he does come with the standard uh, rebel uh, blaster this isn't it it's it, it's still in the box i don't plan on posing him holding this one he's gonna probably have his hands behind his back Kind of like I do with Piet, kind of making him look a little more regally bossy or something. I'll, I'll let the older the older gentleman he can have the blaster uh, pistol, but yeah, he's you know that's I honestly I don't know if he should have come with anything else. Uh, maybe you could have done him a slightly deluxe and put him in his little hover chair thing, but I don't know if that would be such a great accessory. So. That's a fine, like he's, I, I'd say other hands, but what what else does he need? Like he's just got this open curvy hand or whatever. And then of course, one that's kind of formed more for holding a, a, a weapon. But uh, yeah, that's it's fine. This is a welcome addition. I didn't mind this one because at least we were getting an Admiral or we were getting an Akbar. Again, I'll put down here. I'll have to look up his rank to see what what he is in that film. But to actually get Admiral Akbar is awesome. I still have 
I'm still kind of questioning why we're in the year of Empire Strikes Back, why they are giving us Jedi figures, because in three years it's going to be the 40th, and I don't want to see him on a card with maybe, I don't know, a, a twinkle in his eye painted there. And then everybody's, oh, I got to buy them again. So that that is going to be really annoying if that's the case. And that almost probably wouldn't surprise me anyway. So that's that's him. That's Admiral Akbar, number one in the Return of the Jedi boxes, the green box. Uh, I've got Tebow uh, to get through as well. He'll probably be my next review unless something new comes out. I know that... Uh, the uh, second Purge Trooper is showing up at EB Games right now. Um, Darth Nihilus is anytime as well. So yeah, so there's some, some more stuff. Um, I believe the Walmart exclusives are starting to show up in Canada, which doesn't mean a whole lot right now, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. Turn your notification bell on so you know whenever I upload or when I'm getting ready to stream. Um, check me out on Instagram. I do post pictures. I treat that like my community page because I, I don't have that on YouTube yet. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. So I hope everybody has a great night. We'll talk to you again soon. Later, eh?